So, Lil, talking about barbershops and salons, how can a, a CPA help a barbershop or a salon owner? Give, give me some example. I mean, in the business side, right. like creating strategy and all that. Can, how can you guys help someone that is, is kind of lost and what to do next? Sure. Um, well, with business, there are certain obligations that the business must have, right? So whether it's some, some local requirements such as you know setting up your business making sure that you have the, the correct licenses in place right so you're starting make sure that you have your accounting done your books and records that's a requirement by the IRS that you must have separate books and records for your business uh, you also have some tax obligations right so annual tax forms and you know that must be filed if you sell products in your salon or in your barbershop then you got to deal with sales tax um, and that's going to vary between your state or your, your local jurisdiction, right? So it's important for you to have somebody by your side that's first going to help you organizing everything. So since the inception of the business, when you're organizing, setting up your business, uh, there's got to be a legal structure that's formed. You know, it's going to help you later on down the road as well. There are certain, certain tax um, elections that must be made that's going to help you pay less in taxes as well. Um, and from that, that annual, you know, or that, that, that maintenance part of the business as well, throughout the time, you're going to have questions. Hey, Leo, uh, can I deduct this on my business? Should I be doing this when hiring your first employee or your subcontractor? You know, there are certain requirements that you must adhere to. So it's important for you to have somebody by your side throughout the steps of your business, uh, somebody that you trust, somebody that's licensed, somebody that's got the experience to guide you the right way, okay? Um, it's important, and, and you asked about the, the CPA, right? Um, CPA, that's the, the certified public accountant. When somebody has those credentials, you can rest assured that that's somebody that went to school for accounting. That's somebody that has the experience already, proven experience working under other CPAs. And that's somebody that t that passed this exam that tests a lot of different concepts, whether it's accounting, tax, or business, like I mentioned earlier today. So uh, it gives you peace of mind that the advice that you're getting is correct. Okay, and that peace of mind is worth a lot, especially for somebody that's starting out. Okay, um, if you don't hire someone with those credentials, then then it's okay. There are other credentials as well, but you just you should always make sure that whoever you're hiring's got that track record or it's got the experience. To uh, so that you can rest assured that the information being provided to you is correct. It could be that you get some uh, wrong information, that you do something wrong with your business, that's going to cost you a lot down the road. Okay, so, and that's within the industry, right? So make sure that you hire good professionals, whether it's a barber, whether it's an attorney, whether it's a, it, it's an advisor that you're hiring, financial advisor. You got to find out who you're hiring, and um, choosing people with the right certifications give you that peace of mind. Oh, amazing. What? One mistake I see a lot of business owners, not only barbers, but business owners in general making is they first open the business and later on, after the business is already running, then they go and look for an accountant to advise them on what to do. And then right. sometimes it's too late because they already made big mistakes. So I would recommend first sit with the, if you're thinking about, oh, I should open a yeah. business See with an sit with an accountant and right. ask what type of business should I open? Cor uh, corporation, LLC. What's the difference? How does it affect me in the long term? Um, get a device on, depending on the plan you have for your business, right? Mm -hmm. If you're gonna do, let's say, franchises, mm -hmm. you should look for something. If you're just gonna have multiple shops, but it's gonna be all owned by yourself. There's so many things, like what if you die? Who's going to inherit your business? Depending exactly. on the type of business you have open, it mm -hmm. changes completely. So there's so many things that they should look for first before they open the business, right? Without and a doubt. lot of um, accountants, they do this mm -hmm. free consultation that you can schedule a time, sit and explain, I want to start a business and get a device. No, they for sure. First. And um, the advice is, is going to be crucial for the future of your business, right? So maybe you just have an accountant that does your taxes and you think that you have the help that you need, right? So each year you go and you sit and you review your tax return with your accountant and that's your experience with your accountant. But that's very limited to what an accountant could do, to what a CPA can do. So what I advise 
um, my clients is to come sit with us, get some business advice. Let's talk shop, right? Let's let's know what your your ideas are for the future, because uh, there are things that you can do today that is going to help you later down the road. You know, so if you wait until you're already there, and now uh, it may be too late for you to do certain things. And here, especially talking about on the accounting and tax side, you know, there are certain elections that's going to save you a lot of money in taxes that must be filed by the same March 15th of the year. You know, so if you wait until past that, then that's too late. So always have good guidance, you know, make sure that you have a relationship, that you build a relationship with your advisor, somebody that you can talk to, that you can schedule a call or a meeting, you know. So it's it's important for the growth of your business to have somebody like that by your side. Don't don't always think about the cost, okay? So uh, you get what you pay for, like with anything in the barber industry as well, you know. If you're somebody that's just looking for a lower cost all the time, you, you might get, you know, bad advice or, you know, not – sufficient that's going to help you get to the next level so that's another recommendation you know try to find somebody that you trust that you can build a relationship for the long run because it's going to pay it off